Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is the 750th video I've done, so a little bit of a celebration, and I'm giving away some macros. To download them, go down to the link just below here, and I'll get you to the download page, which will also give you more details about each macro. So here we're going to show the style of them, I'm not going to go into detail of each of them. So, to get them here, you can either open up the macro file that you downloaded and just write the dot macros file onto here or you can go to view studio and library here to open up the library and then here go to the top one here little hamburger and click import macros that way and then you get the mono maps and you see here there's quite a few of them so to help us with see what's happening by the way, with this, this little chart down here, we've got monochrome at the top from white to black. Then we've got a saturated green going down to dark and going up from white. And here we've got non-saturated colours. So, if we look at the first one here, HSL desaturation, that is quite simply go to the HSL adjustment and turn down saturation. And the next one is if you use the, the checkbox that says HSV. So you can see there's one. When I click on one, you just get a new layer at the top here. And this is grey, of course. And I can turn this on and off to see what's happening. And if I turn it off, I can leave it there and click on the next one. And so now I can compare them. So I can turn one on and off. So you can see the HSL and the HSV desaturation is actually very different. Then there are other ones in here which you're just going to get a black and white picture with different ways of doing it. The three here that say black and white, it's just going to the black and white adjustment and turning things all the way up and all the way down, which in itself can be quite useful. And the RGB average, that also gives a, an image. But down here, things start to get more interesting. So I'm going to look at these two here. I won't go through all of them, but I'll just touch on some interesting bits. So here, this is HSL saturation grays, and look at what happened here. So I turn this one off here. So remember I got here the monochrome here, the green going to black from white and desaturated. I turn this on now and where there was any colour at all, it's gone white. And where there is a bit of a mix with the DC, you know, nothing which is completely saturated, then you get some grayscale here. Monochrome goes completely black. So in other words, what's happening here is a colour selector. And it very much masks in the colour quite solidly. So I turn that off for a moment and do the next one. And what happens here is the very, very similar. And let's look at the difference between here's the all mono one and here's the greys one. And you can see this is pretty similar here. The key thing that's happening in here is that we're getting a gradation here, a kind of gradient with the all mono one whereas you've got a solid clear mask here with the greys one so again different ways of selecting color and monochrome so this is the sort of thing that these are useful for the 3m ones down here are variations on calculations that can be done using the maximum value of red green and blue the minimum value and the middle value the one the color of the red green or blue which is not the top and which is not the bottom and you can get things like here if you take the maximum and take away the minimum you get a kind of saturation because here again monochrome is black but here you're going from the saturated here downwards and the saturated through here downwards so you're this is a effectively a saturation map so then down to these here these are slightly different again because these are for flagging where you've got colours which are burnt out. In other words, they're at the top. Either red, green and blue are all at the top, which is this white here. So I click on that and I've got a map here. And just up those little bits in here, these bits here, this is where it's gone purely white. So I can check that off there and there. I've got burned out white there, which means I can now got a mask which I can use to control what's in there. And maybe do some adjustment on that. 
Whereas if I go, for example, down here to unsaturated black, that's going to show me where the blacks are. And if I go to unsaturated any, then these colors here, and let's just zoom in here to look at it. What I've got here, if I can just turn off this and drag this in, and you can see there green is zero. So it's flagging to me that something is flat down to the bottom. So it tells you when you've got top layers and when you've got bottom layers. The last one here is a convert to map. So this is just a useful one, which you might want to use. If I say using the RGB average conversion here, so I've got a monochrome picture coming up. And then if I click on convert to map and mask selection, this top layer here is going to disappear and going to reappear at the bottom as a mask like this. There you see it's gone down there. It's now a mask. And I've also got a selection set, which means if I can then do something like a go to say curves, that's going to pick up that mask immediately. Control D gets rid of the marching ants. And I can now adjust that like that. Anyway, that's it. And hope it's useful. And thank you very much for watching.